I live at Ferguson's downtown, yeah, which explain. is just so cool. Like, honestly, every day I'm like, damn, this is a really cool experience, especially for a creative yeah. and an entrepreneur. Um, basically, it's a neighborhood rooted in community. And it's a city block. And in the front of Ferguson's, um, it's going to be have restaurants and shops with local brands. There's a music that's going to be there. Um, and like this underground coffee shop bar. What? Um, yeah, creative studios on top. And then um, the alley across the street, and that's activated for market in the alley, pour in the alley, some really cool events coming up too. Oh, in we're the gonna alley. talk about all that. Okay, oh, yeah. cool. <laughs> and so it's basically a city block, and then um, it's co-founded by my good friend Jen Toller. Okay. And um, and Tony Shea, and Jen is in charge of being the creative strategist of putting it all together. Mm -hmm. And she invited me to um, do summer uh, winter camp there uh, a year and a half ago and I never left <laughs> and go. I stayed for the winter and I was like this is cool and just being around like literally I tell people they're like how do you do all the things you do I'm like I live breathe and sleep it like yes. it's literally when I go and get a glass of water I'll see someone like oh hey like and just have conversations and what you call it like collisions and yeah. just like hanging around people and we all work together on different projects and just being neighbors right. and friends um, it's a really cool experience I personally love community living and I just didn't think it was available here in Vegas. And then coming in there, I'm like, damn, this is cool. So yeah, that's some next level, though, because everybody around you is kind of like, you know, you're all doing something crazy. Everyone's dope. doing something so really instead cool. Instead of just like a community where everybody's just like living Chilling. their normal life. Yeah. Not a bad thing, you know, not hating yeah. on anybody's lifestyle, but I definitely, you know. It depends on what your I, goals that's why are. I like having him around because we can like see each other improving and in life and be like, oh, things just go faster. I just want to point out, he kind of said it like he's got me in a corner somewhere. That's why I like having him around. <laughs> <laughs> I just have been sitting I in actually a stool. Have a, I actually have a cage in this house. <laughs> yeah. I live in this little cage and he just lets me out sometimes. <laughs> For creative inspiration. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, I, I feel you because um, I was going to say, even as somebody like us, we're not necessarily super always in downtown or in the creative, mm. in the I creative in, in area. You are sometimes, but I you kind of already that. have your, your, your things that you got going on. We always get word of mouth, like get coming to us like oh here's this photo event oh here's this video event and that's cool. not even that's not even being rooted in the community imagine if we were it'd be like it'd be amplified by like tenfold you yeah. know so because just come and hang out i'm, I'm about to let's go yeah. there. Cool there's enough. always yeah you're totally cool enough it's for everybody oh okay yeah. i'll be there <laughs> um yeah everyone's welcomed and there's different events where we all w open our home to the community to do different things like jam sessions this is the second friday of the month um and that's really amazing and my friend tree hill is now working on helping curate that too and just bringing more community and more people together like there is a true like legit magic that you feel when mm -hmm. people come together over good you know mm -hmm. like good music good art um like market in the alley is an awesome version of that too